Wow, thank you, Angela. I'm, I'm blushing for the second time today. Angela is, we're so lucky to have her as our new executive director now for over a year, and uh, we're just back to business, revitalized, uh, thanks to her efforts, so thank you. Um, so thanks everybody for coming, uh, welcome. I am a proud nutmegger from Connecticut. And very, very uh, honored to be introducing uh, our, one of our senators, Senator Murphy. Um, you know, there's a saying that you might hear when you're running for office, especially for the first time, and that saying is, wait your turn. Um, that is an expression that Senator Murphy does not know. It's not in his vocabulary, and we're grateful for that because if he had waited his turn, I don't think he'd be standing here tonight uh, as a leader in foreign policy. Um, after all, over the last decade, Connecticut has made history uh, on foreign policy. You know, 2006, Connecticut was the center of attention, I mean internationally, when Ned Lamont took on uh, a certain senator from Connecticut who was also a vice presidential candidate and was for the f one of the first to pave the way to be able to even talk about the failed Iraq war policy. Well, at the same time, Chris Murphy, who was not waiting his turn, and I think not long out of law school, um, decided to take on uh, a sitting Republican in the 5th District, uh, Congressional District in Connecticut, um, and also got himself elected uh, in part based on uh, that, that point of view, that, that advocacy against the Iraq war. Well, four years later, we're happy to call him our senator. And he, again, not waiting his turn, has become an absolute leader in the Senate. Um, and, and it's just, uh, you know, just, I told him today, he's just been a rock star in our causes, and we're so grateful for that. So over the last five years, what has he done? Uh, senator Murphy's been an outspoken critic on ongoing authorization from military action in the Middle East. That still is authorized. He has courageously broken with the president and voted against authorizing the war in Syria. Uh, he's been an ardent supporter of diplomacy, most recently uh, to encourage the deal with uh, Iran and its nuclear program. Uh, and Senator Murphy uh, believes that diplomacy should be buttressed to improve the global, global anti-poverty budget. It's a better way to use budget dollars than to simply pouring money back into wars. Um, in short, Senator Murphy has not waited his turn and instead has chosen a path of courageous leadership. So it is my distinct pleasure, Senator Murphy, to present you with the Father Robert, uh, Father Robert F. Trinan National Peace and Human Rights Award. All right.